In the past 23 years, Turkey has undergone a remarkable transformation, evolving into an industrial powerhouse on the global stage. Today, its heavy industry sector stands shoulder to shoulder with that of France, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Surprisingly, Turkey is not just competing in traditional sectors, but is also aggressively vying for the sixth spot in global weapons exports. In a stunning twist, Turkey has outperformed Israel, the world's third largest exporter of multi-purpose military drones. Nearly 35 countries are now utilizing Turkish-made drones, such as the Bayraktar Tib 2 which has proven effective in numerous war zones over the past few years, including the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Notably, Ukraine supplies the engines for some of the drones manufactured by Baykar, the Turkish defense company at the forefront of this drone revolution. This colossal achievement in manufacturing weapons and heavy industries can be traced back to President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's announcement when he first became prime minister in 2003. This pivotal moment raises the question, how did Turkey build the world's largest army of armed drones? And why have these drones become so popular? Today, the Turkish army boasts the second largest standing military force in NATO, trailing only behind the United States. Globally, it ranks as the 13th largest military, a position primarily influenced by its lack of nuclear weapons. However, Turkey's NATO membership provides it with indirect access to nuclear capabilities through U.S. bases on its territory. In any military conflict in Europe that does not involve nuclear weapons, the Turkish armed forces would play a crucial role before any engagement with the U.S. military. This may seem paradoxical to some, considering Turkey is predominantly an Islamic nation, with nearly 96% of its 90 million residents identifying as Muslim. Turkey is fiercely committed to manufacturing its own weapons and has become a significant exporter of a diverse range of modern military equipment. This includes advanced systems such as the Alte main battle tank, the Turks infantry carrier vehicle, the PARS amphibious armored combat vehicle, and the T-155 self-propelled howitzer, among many others. The list is extensive and showcases Turkey's ambition in the defense sector. Interestingly, Turkey hosts more drones than all European nations combined, with over 200 TB1 TB3 drones, along with numerous other indigenous models like the TI Anka and TI Axer. To put this into perspective, the United Kingdom operates just 10 aging US made Reaper drones, highlighting Turkey's technological advancements in this field. Before delving into the specifics of Turkey's military drones, it's essential to acknowledge the visionary behind this success, Selkuk Bayraktar. In 2005, at just 26 years old, Selkuk graduated from one of Turkey's top universities and later earned a master's degree from the University of Pennsylvania. He even dropped out of a doctorate program at MIT, believing he had already conceived the next cutting-edge technology in warfare. Selkuk's family owned Baycar, a company established in 1984 to produce automobile components. By the 2000s, Baycar shifted its focus to unmanned aerial vehicles, and Selkuk became the driving force behind Turkey's most advanced drones and related technologies. From an economic perspective, military drones contribute significantly to Turkey's military industrial complex and export revenues. In 2022, Turkey achieved a record $4.4 billion in drone exports, a figure that surpasses the entire annual defense budgets of some European countries. This success propelled Turkey's total arms exports to over $10 billion that year, with projections suggesting drone deals could exceed $7 billion by the end of 2023. Turkey is now in direct competition with the likes of China and the United States in the drone export market. According to the Atlantic Council, the country is home to around 2,000 companies in the weapons manufacturing sector. In August 2023, Turkey secured a landmark $4 billion deal for the production of TB and TB3 drones in Saudi Arabia, with numerous other contracts ranging from millions to billions of dollars. Spotlight on Turkey's leading drones. Let's explore some of the most notable Turkish drones that have put the nation on the global map. Bayraktar Tibu. 
The Bayraktar TBU is a medium-altitude, long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle capable of both remote-controlled and autonomous flight operations. It has become the flagship of the Turkish military, completing over 400,000 flight hours globally by November 2021. The TB2 made its maiden flight in August 2014 and has since demonstrated its capabilities with successful missile tests. Unlike its predecessor, the TB1, which relied on imported components, the TB2 is entirely manufactured in Turkey. Its innovative design features a blended wing body, an inverted V-tail structure, and a modular platform with detachable main components. Bayraktar TB3 The next-generation Bayraktar P3 UAV, also developed by Baykar, is more advanced than the TB2. It boasts short-range landing and takeoff capabilities, making it ideal for deployment on Turkey's first aircraft carrier, the TCG Anadolu. This amphibious assault ship is similar to Spain's Juan Carlos aircraft carrier, and the TB3 is the naval version of the TB2. Kizilma Fighter UAV Baykar is currently developing its most promising drone, the Kizilema Fighter UAV, which made its maiden flight in 2022. This cutting-edge drone features an angular design for stealth capabilities and internal weapons bay and an active electronically scanned array, AZA, radar. It boasts an impressive range of 925 km, an operational altitude of over 10 km, and a top speed of approximately 740 km. The Kizilema is powered by the subsonic I-322F engine, manufactured by the Ukrainian firm Ivchenko Progress, which continues to fulfill orders despite the ongoing conflict. Other notable Turkish drones include the TI Axer and TI Anka, developed exclusively for the Turkish Armed Forces by Turkish Aerospace Inc. These drones are highly advanced, fast and deadly. Do you think Turkey will become one of the world's top three advanced military drone developers and exporters? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.